Right, stage three of the sourdough. It's been proving for a little while now. Right, I don't know quite how I'm going to do this with one hand, but we'll give it a go. La, 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 la. I've got a scrapey thing here. Scrapey things are really useful. Looks like that. Came with a fudge kit, which is also very delicious. Uh, I'm just kind of loosening it from the sides and scraping down any of these bits because they're just kind of dry, so there's no no point having them. Right, to stop this stuff from sticking to your hands, you can either wet your hands or flour them or just, just go with it. It's going to get better um, the second time and it's going to be really good the third time. So this is how I think I do a stretch and fold. There will be plenty of other places that show you differently. So stretch it, turn it, stretch it, turn it. I've got a bit of a lump in there. Bit worried about lumps of um, lumps of flour because they won't taste nice. Stretch and fold. So I'm kind of trying to go round in a in a bit of a circle. Stretch and fold. That's it. <laughs> Uh, nothing to it, so I'm just going to leave that now, pop the cover back on, put it back in the proving oven for another half hour. Sorry about the dodgy camera work, um, I should have waited until someone else was around to film it really, but I just wanted to get this out of the way and uh, want to show you how, how I do the bread. Bye.